my name's Paige, I'm the content creator here at Clipchamp. And in this walkthrough video today, I'm gonna to be showcasing our brand new feature, and that is the Clipchamp brand kit. So just for the purpose of this video, I've created a mock brand and I have already preloaded some video content that you can see here in my media tab um, that I'll be using a little bit later on when I make an ad for this brand. Okay, so jumping straight into things, if I head over here to the left hand side and I scroll down, I can now see the brand kit button and I'll go ahead and select that. And now three options will come up, brand fonts, brand colors, and brand logos. All right, so getting started with fonts, I'll go ahead and I'll select add a font and then add a font again. This option is going to appear and then all of the fonts already loaded into Clipchamp will appear. You can just select from the drop down box. But if your brand isn't an option within the Clipchamp fonts, that's no worries at all because I'll show you how to load any custom font that you'd like. So for this one, I'm just gonna scroll through the options and I'm going to select this one as my main font. Perfect, and now I can rename that to anything I'd like, but again, I will just name it main font. I'll repeat the process and add another font as my secondary font. I'll just quickly select the drop down option and this one looks perfect. So I'll rename that secondary font. And now to what I was saying before about adding a custom font. It's super simple and super quick. So what you're gonna do is you'll hit the add a font button once again. And only this time you'll click upload a font. So once I have selected that, I'll click browse files. I'll go into my font file and select the correct font. Just choose these two here and click open. So here they are there and I will just have to select that I have the rights to use these fonts and then I'll just add it to the brand kit. And you can see that I have already added this a few times into my custom fonts, but that's no worries. I'll just go ahead and select this one and change the title to custom font. And it is as simple as that. So now I have my main font, my secondary font, and my custom font all ready to go. All right, so now we are up to brand colors. So what I'll do for this one is I'll head back to the brand kit down to colors select add colors and then i'm going to click on add a palette so then i'll just click this button here and i'll need to enter my color code or you can just select from anywhere on the color wheel like this but i know my color codes are ready so i'll copy and paste that there there's my color number one i will click the plus button copy and paste my second color there's second color and copy and paste my third color and that completes my first palette so what I'll title that is just main brand colors, just because I know those are my main colors I'm gonna use all the time. And I'll go ahead and add a secondary palette. So do the same thing again, click the button. I'm gonna stick with whites and blacks for this one. So just like this. And also a really nice light baby pink. So that's done. I'll just title this one secondary brand colors. So there are my two main color palettes, all done and ready to go. You can delete any of the colors from the palette if you've made an error, but I will just quickly re-add that back for this video. And you can switch them around and rotate them if you want to, but I'll keep my main color palette at the very top. And that's all there is to adding a color palette into your brand kit. So now it will be super accessible, super easy to access your colors, to change your font color, your background colors to match your brand whenever you need. All right, so last but not least, we have the brand logos. So again, what I'll do is I'll head back into the brand kit and go down to logos, click on add a logo, add logos again, and go into my files and just select the two that I wanna upload. Click open and they'll automatically upload into my logo tab. And there they are. So it's honestly as simple as that to upload your logos. Super quick, super easy, and that's where they'll live. So now when I jump back into my brand kit, everything is all ready to go. My fonts are loaded, my color palettes are all there, and my logos are there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an Instagram ad for this mock brand using all of these brand kit features. All right, so jumping back into my media tab, I can see my three preloaded videos from earlier, and I'll just go ahead and add those into my timeline. And I'll scroll down and I just want to edit these videos to fit into place for the Instagram ad. 
just resize that one. That looks great. Drag that across. And now I can resize the second image. All right, that is perfect. And I'll drag that over and resize the third image just to fit. Perfect. I'll just start cropping these because the videos are way too long for a quick Instagram ad. So I'll make sure they're all roughly around about the same time. It's perfect. I'll just drag them into place. Perfect. And then I'll just quickly play that back and check they're all into place and they are how I want, which they are, so that's great. So I'll just pause that quickly and now I'm going to add some text into this ad. Go over to the text bar here. I know I want to use this option. Just add that to my timeline and drag it into place. And now I'm going to utilize our custom fonts. So firstly what I'll do, I can see this is definitely not the font that I want. I'll go up to the top here and click text and under the font section, scroll up to the very top. And there is my brand kit font. So I've got the three fonts that I uploaded previously and I'm gonna go ahead with my custom font because that's what I want for this ad. I'll quickly just type in this text that I want for my ad. All right, and just gonna resize that to fit frame. Play that back and it's perfect. So my custom font has uploaded and I'll just pause that. Now I actually want to change the color to my brand color. So again, I'll click color at the very top and go to the text color and there are my brand kit colors. So I can select from my main brand colors that I uploaded or the secondary color palette. But for this one, I'll just have a play around and see which one works. The lighter color works, so I'll go with that. And go down to my border color and I'll change that to this darker red here. So playing that back, there is my brand font all ready to go, all uploaded. So I'll just quickly copy and paste these so they're exactly the same. And update the text for the second slide. Alright, perfect. Change the text for the third slide. That's great. So now I will just quickly play that back make sure I'm happy with it, which I am. Looks great. And now I'm going to quickly add in my logo. So click on the brand kit. I'm going to drag it across and make sure it's in the entire video. And there it is. So I'll click transform so that I can update the size, just make it bigger or smaller. I think this size looks about right. I'll pop it down in the bottom right hand corner there. Uh, you can rotate it around if you want to, but I don't for this video. And I'll just make the size a tiny bit bigger. So I'll just play that back and there it is. So it's across the entire video exactly where I wanted. And now I'm just going to add an end card, which is actually just one of my brand images. So I'll quickly browse my files and select it here. And I'll add that to my timeline as an image. Just drag it into place. And there it is. So to end things, I'm going to quickly edit the video and just add a couple of transitions just to jazz up the ad. So I'll drag these ones in. Perfect. I'll do a different one for the end card here. Perfect. Play that back and check everything is all good to go. Perfect. Awesome, so I'm super happy with that ad for my mock brand. All right, so that concludes the video. We really hope this has been helpful and we can't wait to see some of your brands come to life with our brand kit.